I, apparently she crushed it and yeah, she made did. fun of Mark Cuban. Yeah, yeah, she did. She did. It was great. Yeah, I watched it. She's a, she's. Can uh, we watch it? I haven't seen she's it. She's very sharp. Megan oh, Kelly's she's very impressive. She was the original Fox Fembot. She was yeah. the original like super hot woman on Fox. Who was so <laughs> so much smarter than you. And you're like <gasps> you're smarter and Ice like, Queen. Are they all wearing something very inappropriate? Oh, yeah, I said we... vagina curtains. I used to have a bit about it. <laughs> like, not even a good curtain. Like the kind of grandma has over the kitchen sink that <laughs> flutters in the breeze, rose by like Jesus Christ, you're inches away from vagina that's covered by I this the show. thinnest piece of cloth. It's a wild way to dress. It's a weird culture over there. At it's Fox. amazing. Let's hear it. Oh, four years ago, we had Mark Cuban on the program. You know, yeah. you may have seen he was in the news this week, and he started going on about how bad America's race history was and how ashamed he was of America, and that's why he was at all these protests. And he felt it was really important to stand up and speak out about human rights violations. And then it got awkward when I asked him about all the money he was taking from China. And then he dropped a bunch of F-bombs, and I thought, I really enjoy this feeling of proving Mark Cuban wrong. <laughs> and so here I am at a Trump rally, a strong, intelligent woman, to prove Mark Cuban wrong again. If you're enjoying this type of content, please like and subscribe. It really helps me a lot. Let's continue watching. Damn. Yeah. That had a sting. Yeah. yeah she's, a, she's a beast. Yeah. That one, that one has a sting. Yeah, it was very. She's. It's funny too because she's not like been in politics, but that was very like politically savvy. That yes. was like a really smart way to go at it. Um, well, she, she was very demonized as well. Remember when she uh -huh. went over to do that NBC show? That was crazy. Like they took her from Fox, they gave her a shit ton of money, and then they just didn't like her over the. And, and it was over the lamest thing. I forget even the blackface. comment. Something about blackface Halloween costumes well, it's like, or something. Can you pretend to be a person that you right. admire? That's like if you want to be Diana Ross. She was like, I don't think. What's wrong with that? Right. It's not a bad question. There's one thing if you are mocking African American right. people. If you have like fucking Al Jolson blackface on, but if what if you want to be Mr. T? And you're a 10-year-old kid. Mr. T's his hero. Do you really think that kid's racist? He puts a bunch of gold chains on and brown makeup on his face? Like, what are we calling blackface? Like, yeah. What, what does that mean? On really? the Joe Rogan experience, Joe Rogan and his guest react to Megyn Kelly's pointed jab at Mark Cuban over his recent comments on America's racial history. Cuban recently expressed feelings of shame over America's past and voiced his support for human rights protests. But Kelly called out what she saw as a double standard, pointing out that while Cuban condemns the U.S. on human rights issues, he still has significant financial ties to China, a country with its own controversial human rights record. Rogan and his guest appreciated Kelly's direct approach, discussing how she effectively challenged Cuban's stance and highlighted what they felt was a contradiction. They went on to talk about Kelly's media career, noting how she rose to fame as a star on Fox News before moving to NBC, where she faced backlash for comments about cultural sensitivity on Halloween costumes. Kelly's no-nonsense, bold style was a central point of conversation, with Rogan and his guest admiring her willingness to challenge prominent figures like Cuban. This episode captured Kelly's strong voice in media and her ability to spark discussions on complex issues.